Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Airbros LS1. This is a new version. I had the chance to test the RS1. A pretty cool robot with direct suction. Gets a job done, but it doesn't have LiDAR and a lot of people want that. This is the LS1. As the name suggests, it has LiDAR and it also has the mopping function, which was lacking in the previous version. Let's see what's inside. main robot just like the other one this has direct suction so you don't have to worry about tangles has these arms you have to attach these here has the R and L so you have to know side you're attaching station that takes care of the charging this is the adapter that you need you get these to attach this is your mopping pad it has to go here i don't see any other way so that's now installed so that's your mopping system and you can hold these i'm assuming to remove it so pretty straightforward i even haven't had a chance to read the manual very simple design and this is your remote you can access different functions change suction power so this is everything that you get this is a neatly packaged device everything is ready to go you just have to connect your brushes here so you just have to make sure that they line up like that now you're ready to actually turn it on and set up you just have to remove these these are for protection as far as the size This one has a different water tank design than the other robots that I've covered. Those actually combine the dustbin and the water tank. This one has it separately attached to the mop pad. You can access the dust tank here. So this is your filter. You can just open it like that. Direct suction, so everything goes here. There is no worry about things getting tangled in your brush roll. Uh, let's say I turn it on by holding this. It's not turned on. Welcome to user Rambo's robot vacuum cleaner. And this is the control. Just change direction where you want to go. You want to go back, it just automatically does the turn. Even without a phone, you can just control it like that. It has these connectors. Now this is powered on and ready to go. Back to charge. This robot has more advanced voice function. You also have to remove this, I haven't. It does have anti-drop sensors, so it doesn't actually fall off the desk. To set this up, I'm just gonna go and use the Smart Life app right here. So the Airbros RS1 is already connected. Now I'm gonna try and add another one. They say you have to hold these two buttons and press it for three seconds. So it's now connecting to the robot. It's now connected and Alexa also recognizes it. You can see your battery life here. Start charging. Alexa, turn on LS1. Start Alexa, turn off LS1. Once you make the Wi-Fi connection, it's pretty seamless. I didn't even have to go to Alexa, it automatically discovered it. Go to the app here and choose the mode that I want. Quick mopping, quick cleaning, and dock it also from the app. It will make a turn and go to this docking station. Now it hasn't mapped anything yet, so I have to do that. That's always the case with these. For the first time, it's gonna map Start the area that's gonna clean. You can see here, I can change cleaning settings such as mop only, vacuum only, the echo mode. You can also change water speed. You have a Y pattern for the mop. You can manage your maps here. You can select forbidden zones. Also tells you how much it has cleaned. It hasn't cleaned anything yet. So to connect this, just make sure you have your Bluetooth on. Press those two buttons here. For three seconds, go to AP mode and then connect it to the app, the Smart Life app. As far as the mod pad, you just have to insert it here. And 
as E. You can remove it like that if you want. Once you install that and add your water, you're ready. Just make sure that you remove this before charging it. You don't wanna have the water in there. So this is the first time I'm gonna let it map the home. The Rabbers LS1 is working in the other room, but it's also mapping at the same time. It's the first time, so it's getting understanding of the layout of the home. If you have that, then you can actually send it to a certain spot to do cleaning. This is now mapping the entire area. For the mopping function, you just have to add water here. So we've got edge cleaning as spot cleaning. So the spot cleaning keeps going back and forth in this area to clean it. Edge cleaning is a little bit different. It finds the edges and then it starts moving along the path. This also has safety, so if I pick it up, it stops. Suspended. You can change water level and power from here. This is the lowest mode. I'll put it on a schedule. Let's say but I want it to work. Let's say I want it to work a minute from now. Max speed. So it's about a minute from now. So this is now time for it to work. I put it on max. You have the option to turn off the voice in do not disturb mode. You have your remote control here that I can use it to control the robot. Change direction like that. There's a find my robot feature. I'm here. I'm here. Voice and volume can be in different languages. There you go. If I can say find my robot, must you that cleaning? You can simply remove this. So this has captured a lot of stuff. So it's pretty effective in suction because of its direct suction it just captures everything from here on your phone you have map management so you can reset the map also tell you how much battery life how much filter life and mop life you have left you can install the mop like this water tank installed it gives you feedback that's installed so we go to mop only let's just clean this spot let's see how it does Stop.
you do want to make sure that you create no-go zones for your carpet plan for just mopping in a minute this is now the mop mode i've turned off the vacuum let's see how it works So this is just mopping now. And you can see it's getting wet. So this is after a little bit of cleaning. Now you have to clean this regularly because it affects the performance. I can easily remove my schedules like that. We can also create vacuum and mop forbidden zones and cover an area that I don't want. Let's say here I have a rug. I put it like that. Whereas I have here cat food and I don't want it mess with those once your robot is complete mapping you can save it you can name it here and you can use different maps i have this just one floor so i'm going to use it but if you have multiple floors you can save it and use that map and you can access it on your iphone and ipad and just tap here to rename it this has segmented my place into these different rooms that way you know which one to clean so i just done the robot to focus in front of the charging area and I wanted to avoid going anywhere else. So I'm going to create for building zones here. So I don't want it to move from this area. So I created these three forbidden zones. Let's see. Should return and go no further in that area. So it's gonna respect the virtual worlds now here. Let's see. So that's the wall right there. That's the wall right there, so it should back return again. So it's returning because it's supposed to be in this area only. See if I can actually get it to drop so it doesn't, it has anti drop sensors. I'm trying to force it, but it just won't. I'm not even from these angles this is what it has picked up so far i have a lot of cats so that's natural i have this cat food here let's see how well it cleans For deep cleaning, you want to activate Y pattern mopping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my robot to this area, room 5, and let it mop with Y pattern. And I have created this forbidden zone so it doesn't actually exit that area. The difference between these two is one of them is vacuum and mop forbidden zone, and one of them is probably just mop only. I'm going to choose mop here. I'm going to go to room clean. That way it's going to be much easier and select which area I want cleaned. Just gonna select that. As you can see it's getting wet. I don't know if it's clear or not. And it now knows that it's in this area. So it took a couple of seconds to realize where it is because I moved it from the station. So it had to sync with the map. It's actually wet. That's basic cleaning. I'm not sure you're supposed to add any special chemical. It's supposed to be just water from my understanding. Option to create groups, use third party devices such as Alexa and Google Assistant, share your device.
These robots are from the same brand. This is the RS1 with IR and this is the LS1 with the LiDAR. The difference mainly is both open here. It has this handle here. This doesn't really need that handle. They both have direct suction. You have the directional control auto. This has a mop feature and this doesn't. So you don't get that option. This is edge cleaning and spot cleaning, edge cleaning. That's about it. This was the Arabris LS1, the LiDAR equipped version of the robot from these guys. I had the chance to test the RS1. Having LiDAR just adds other dimension so you can actually go and clean specific rooms. It also has a mop feature with this tank here. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com at gadgetify. I'm going to include a link in the description where you can buy it. Thanks for watching.